As explorer in residence at the National Geographic, I have license to play. I have a relatively long leash to be able to do what the title suggests, go explore. It's, it's really great to have the backing of that institution. It gave me a little nest in Washington, D.C., and the support to go out and put together expeditions to find the resources to do what I try to do best, and that is to um, explore, research, understand, and take care of the, the ocean, especially the wild, natural parts of the sea. People have been exploring from the surface for as long as people have been getting to the ocean, but getting into the ocean is still tricky business, and it's only in very recent times that we've had the technology that can take us more than as deep as you can go holding your breath. Perhaps some people did that centuries ago, but to actually go down and stay a while, to be able to go to a thousand feet, ten thousand feet, ultimately to full ocean depth, that takes more than we carry around with us in our skin. You need to have technology as a partner. Why? Because that's where the action is. That's where most of life on Earth is. That's where most of the water is. Ninety-seven percent of Earth's water is ocean. Without, without the ocean, without water, Earth would be much like Mars, a bleak, barren, inhospitable place for the likes of us and the rest of life on Earth as well. I somehow understood this from an early stage, man imagining First of all, what is the ocean? What is the ocean? And then, what would it be like without the ocean? One thing that we didn't know when I first began exploring was how extensive the mountains and valleys, or even life itself, is in the sea. The discovery of mountain ranges, of plate tectonics, the processes that, that drive the movement of continents, that shape the character of oceans. Oceans come and go over long periods of time. Those things have only come into focus during the 20th century, mostly during the latter part of the 20th century. And so far we've only seen about, well, 5 percent of the ocean. It's a huge part of the solar system, this planet, that has not been looked at even once, let alone put on the balance sheet with, in, with respect to understanding how the world works and why we need to take care of the ocean.